Hello and welcome to the hour show. Today, my guest is a great friend of mine, a girl, a lady that really changed my life and bring lights to my life every time I meet her. Her name is Marlene Green. Hello. Hello, Awa. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm well. Uh, honey, why don't you introduce yourself? I think you will be better at it. Okay, where do I look? <laughs> you look great. No, you look do I great. look at this camera, that camera? Which... You look at me. Okay, I'll just look at you. Look at me. What, so tell me, sweetheart. What more can I ask for? That's nice. Well, let's yes. see where I started. I think there was a time in my life mm -hmm. and in the culture I came from yes. that I knew there was more. Hmm. So I didn't know, it wasn't that I was in a lack of, Yes. I just had a quest. Hmm. I knew I saw things a little bit differently than other people saw it. Yes. And I knew there must be a group of people who I could relate to. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. More than the people I was relating to. Yes. So when I was very young, probably in my 20s, mm -hmm. I heard of something called the S training. Yes. And even before that, mm -hmm. I got married very young in my first marriage. I married somebody who had an uh, alcohol problem. Mm -hmm. And I went to Al-Anon, so I started getting very spiritual on the 12 steps. Yes. And I started speaking all over the country. Ah, great. And what I would do is I would take something they would say, mm -hmm. and I would look up the word, and then I would talk about the word. So I always had this yearning yes. for what does a word really mean. Isn't that incredible? But it's so funny you say the word, because why did you have to go and look for the word? The first time you heard it, it was too complicated for you to get? No. What was I, it? It was, I wanted to know what, how they meant it. How they meant it. It would be like when people would say, oh, you're so powerful, Marlene. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, Marlene, you're so strong. What does that mean? Okay. So I wanted to, and when you would say to somebody, what, what does that mean? They'd say, oh, stop being so paranoid. <laughs> we're, just, we're just saying something. You're making such a big deal. Yes. But I wanted to know. I you wanted, wanted to, to learn. Know. So after that, I did the, I think, the S training. Yes. And um, I got involved also with a gentleman named Fernando Flores, who was all about words and communication. Yes. So this was like, oh my God, I've arrived. And he just <laughs> sliced them and sliced them and dissected them and looked at it. And all of a sudden, I realized, you know what? Words are very important. They are. Very. And one uh, word can have different meaning. Yes. What do you mean by it? What do you mean by it? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, you know, it's so funny we're talking about words because English not being my first language, not even my second language, um, here I am having a show that I have to do in English. And sometimes the word, the way I felt it from my background has a totally different meaning for somebody who is from here. I wrote a text message to someone who's from uh, Colombia Yes. And I, he said something, and I said, oh, that is great. And he wrote, okay. I didn't know if okay meant okay. Okay, that's or great. okay, <laughs> you didn't acknowledge what I said. Yes. So that's exactly right. And now I only speak English. Yes. And still did not understand what people were saying in English. That's right. So be, be careful with words. Sometimes that is definitely not the thing that connects us, but makes us more confused. And not only the word you're saying... But how are you saying that word? Because right. I could be saying something to you very differently than someone else That's right. with a completely different attitude, and That's you're going right. to take it completely differently. Attitude. I love that. Yes. So the uh, energy that you put behind the word, the attitude, is really what is felt. Right. I like to call it the mood, but yes, the it's, mood. The, it's the it's attitude. It's what is felt. Yes, without ever talking. Without ever talking. Right. So maybe sometime we should just go back to no words. Right. And be just, well, how would that be? That, a world where we just, what, feel right. the energy, smiling, you know, no words. But we can't do that, of course. But, <laughs> but you know what? We do that anyway. We, we do do 90 that. Ninety percent of our communication is no words. No words. Even when we're doing words. That's right. So words are not that important. Only. Right. They're not that important. It's however, what they meant. Right. It's the meaning behind what it. the meaning behind it. So after I did that, yes, um, or sometime during that, mm -hmm. I created uh, image workshops, mm -hmm. 
and I had people stand up in front of other people and say what they wanted to project. Yes. And then we decided if they projected it. Yes. And for them to begin to look at that the way they're seeing things isn't exactly how other people are seeing what they're seeing. Yes. So usually it's a very small, subtle change. Yes. And usually it came from their family background, their culture, That's right. where they grew up. That's right. So a long time ago, and I never even knew about this, I created these seminars. Mm -hmm. And then I started taking people shopping, and I think it was Chicago, I lived in Chicago, and then I think Chicago Tribune or one of them, they did an article on me. Someone had told them about me. Yes. And then I did before and afters on, in Glamour Magazine, uh, and then Warner Brothers saw it and asked me to go on the Jenny Jones show, so. and then they hired me. But it was not any different. It mm -hmm. really was about what is the image? What's, what are you trying to project? How do we get there so that the mass people yes. see it the same way? Okay. Because we could say it's an opinion, it's an opinion, it's an opinion. But if 30 people have the same opinion, yes. then it's they no longer up, an opinion. It, it, it it's is. How it's it, landing. It, exactly. Exactly. So, um, which is what we do. I mean, everybody has a different opinion about the thing, right. whatever the thing is. Right. We'll be right back for more of uh, Modern Green.